I'm here with my pal, Chef David, and, and Chef, I call you my pal because we've known each other for... Long time. Long time. Well, actually, way back. Way back. <laughs> actually, we just met today, but he's my pal because we're cooking, he has food, and anyone who has food is my pal, red enchilada chili sauce. Got it. Got All it. Right. And, and what applications? You'd use this on... I, I would use it for making uh, chicken enchiladas or uh, cheese enchilada, a mild cheese. Can you put it on spaghetti? Uh, I don't know. No, just, to, just for some enchiladas. People, some people might. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So more, we more Mexican than Italian. Okay. Um, so what we're using is we're using New Mexico chilies. Um, and the first thing you want to do is you want to tear them up, get the seeds out, and then soak them in some hot water. Uh, let them soften up. Uh, remember working with chilies, you want to be careful if you have sensitive skin, wear gloves. Uh, in any case, make sure you wash your hands. Okay. Um, other ingredients, we're going to use some white onion. It's a little bit milder than uh, yellow. We've got some garlic. Uh, some tomato sauce that we made up earlier. See, that's why I thought spaghetti, but I'm, I'm way off base. All right. Yeah, a lot of different things we can do with tomato sauce. Uh, then we finish it up with some chicken stock. Okay, very good. And so. chicken stock uh, gives it what? It just gives it good, good flavor, okay. full flavor. All so, right. So good. we ready to go? I'm ready to go. Ready to go? Okay, well, we got a, we got a hot pan, so we're going to add a little bit of oil in there. All right. All right. And then uh, if you want, you can start adding the onions, and we're going to sweat those down a little bit. Just dump them all sweat in. Sweat them? Sweat them. Go sweat run them. wind sprints. Go. Yeah, there you go. Go. What's sweating mean? Uh, you're just cooking out the moisture, making them soft and translucent. Okay. You want to stir that? Sure will. Sweat, everyone. Yeah. So, again, it's gonna, we're going to do it until they cook a little bit clear. Okay. I can't see through them yet. Yep, yep. So it typically takes about three to five minutes at least. All right, so David, why haven't we added anything else? Why are we just doing this right now? Well, the first thing we want to do is make sure we sweat the onions, and then we want to add the garlic. If we add the garlic too soon, it's going to burn. Oh, okay. Um, right. and, and burnt garlic gets really bitter. So. Okay. So we can go ahead and add the garlic now and just give that a really good stir. And we just do that for about a minute. So now we're ready, and we can add the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to cook that down just a little bit, get some of the moisture out of it. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Now we can add some chicken stock in it. How much? We're probably adding about a cup and a half. About two, three chickens? Yeah, probably one. Okay. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and get that up. We're going to bring that up to a boil, and then after it boils, we're going to let it boil for about 10 minutes. Okay. All right, I've been stirring for about what? About 10 minutes. About 10, about 10, minutes. 10 minutes. But you don't have to stir the whole time. Oh, now you just, tell me. Yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> all right. Sorry, that's all right. So, okay, so we, we drain the chilies off. They've softened up a little bit, and they'll still continue to soften uh, in with the other ingredients. All so right. I'm going to stir those in. Oh, yeah, yeah because I love stirring. I know, I know. Semi-constantly. All right, how um, long? We're going to do it for about five minutes. Uh, we're going to also add just a little bit of salt at this point. Okay. So we got another five minutes to stir it? What? Yeah. Oh, hold on a sec. Here, can you take that just a second? I'll be right back All right. in about five All right. minutes. All right. All right, finishing touches. All right, yeah, what we did, we finished, uh, finished it off the last five minutes cooking, uh, let it cool a little bit, and we mm -hmm. blended it to puree it really nicely, and then we strained it to get rid of the skin from the... And it does have the... some thickness to it. Yeah, it does, so. it does. And if you want a little bit more, like I said, you can just cook it down a little bit more. Let's see if the camera guy likes this. Right. <laughs> Is it good? Ah, oh, see, he likes it. No one and ever you... feeds the camera guy. <laughs> and you? Uh, yeah, I'm All gonna right. try it. Mmm, is that good? Um, it does taste good. And, you know, I, I am very finicky, and this does taste good. Anyway, uh, thank you. Thank you. Chef David, now we are close friends. All right, absolutely. All right, thanks a lot.